So far we have looked at the derivative of e to the x and which is the natural base or the natural exponential function e being the natural base and we have derived the derivative for the natural log function which has the base of e. Now we want to look at the general exponential function where b is you know any number um, greater than zero and not equal to one. And so, and we'll also look at a general, uh, the derivative of a general logarithmic function where the base is not e, the base is any, um, any base that is greater than zero and not equal to one, according to the definition of an exponential function and a log function. So I'm going to start off by letting y equal b to the x. And I'm going to take the natural log of each side. Take the natural log of y take the natural log of b to the x and as you reviewed the logarithmic properties we know that when we take the log um, of a base raised to a power the power will come down and multiply the log so I have the natural log of y is equal to x times the natural log of b and now the natural log of b is simply a constant it's just a number I would treat this derivative as if I were multiplying x by 2 or 5 or any constant. So I'm going to differentiate each side. Take the derivative of the natural log of y and take the derivative of x ln b and I'm going to use the uh, I'm going to use implicit differentiation. So the derivative of the natural log of y with respect to x is 1 over y times y prime the derivative of x ln b is just going to be the natural log of b. Remember, if I took the derivative of 2x, my answer, the derivative would just be 2. So I'm going to now solve for y prime by multiplying each side by y. So I get y prime is equal to y times the natural log of b. And y we know is we let y equal b to the x, so we're going to get b to the x ln b. So you now have a new derivative to add to your list of derivative formulas. The derivative of an exponential function b to the x is equal to b to the x times the natural log of b. And from now on, every time we take a derivative, we're going to look at the scenario where you're going to have a function, so we'll have b to the u, where u is a function of x, we'll need the chain rule. It'll be b to the u ln b times u prime. Okay. I've also highlighted this in the, uh, the tan box using um, the Leibniz notation with the du dx. We're going to use this, um, use these derivative formulas to evaluate 6, 7, and 8. And so what I'd like you to do is pause the video and try to take these derivatives on your own and then start the video up to check your work. So the derivative of 7 to the x will fall into this derivative formula right here. It's just going to be b to the x times the natural log of b. Well, in this case, it's going to be 7 to the x times the natural log of 7. Number 7, we now have, it's an exponential function where the exponent is a, a function of x, so this is going to come under the second formula. So the derivative of 2 to the sine x is going to be 2 to the sine x times the natural log of 2, times the derivative of sine x, which is cosine x. And the last derivative, similar to the second, I have a base, 8.234. It's raised to a power, and that power is a function of x, not just x, so I have to use the second formula. The derivative is going to be 8.234 to the pi x times the natural log of 8.234 then times the derivative of the exponent, which is just pi. And I might bring that pi in front, maybe put it around parentheses so it doesn't get too confusing to look at. So pi times 8.234 to the pi x 
times the natural log of 8.234. So now that we have practiced the, using the derivative formula for an exponential function, let's look at the derivative of a general logarithmic function. And here, again, we're allowed to use, you know, we're going to work on derivatives that we, we've already used. We don't know how to take the derivative of a log unless the base is e, because that would be our natural log. What we are going to do is we're going to use the change of base formula which is on the list of properties that I gave you. And we're going to rewrite this as the natural log of x over the natural log of b, which can also be written as 1 over ln b times the natural log of x. So I want to take the derivative of the log of x base b, since this is equivalent to this expression. We're going to take the derivative of 1 over ln b times the natural log of x. And 1 over ln b is simply a constant. So the constant comes outside the derivative. So it's going to be 1 over the natural log of b times the derivative of the natural log of x, which is 1 over x. That simplifies to 1 over x ln b. So we have yet another formula, d dx, the natural log of x base b is equal to 1 over x ln b. Remember that the domain is x is greater than 0, and b is a number that is greater than 0 and not equal to 1. Now again, for every new derivative in terms of x, we're going to look at the derivative using a function of x. So if we have the derivative of the log of u base b, with respect to x, it's going to be 1 over u ln b times u prime, or simply just u prime over u ln b. I've also summarized these in the, uh, the tan box down here. Uh, again, using Leibniz notation instead, you can use, uh, you can use either notation. We've also extended, when we talked about for this function right here, x is greater than 0. If we use the absolute value of x, then we basically just expand the domain. So when we just have the derivative of the natural log of u, our domain, u has to be greater than 0. But if I take the derivative of the natural log of the absolute value of u, um, u can be negative or positive, it just cannot equal 0. So we've extended the domain. The formula is still the same with a new domain. I'd like you to pause the video and take the derivative of uh, problems 9 and 10 and then start the video when you are done to check your work. Right, this first derivative is just the derivative of a log of x base 5 and we'll be using this first formula. It's just going to be 1 over x times the natural log of 5. That's it. It's a pretty reasonable formula to use. Now number 10, that is the log of a function of x, not just the log of x, so we'll be using this formula right here, basically using the chain rule. So we're going to get 1 over u, and u is the cosine of x, times the natural log of the base. So 1 over u, u or 1 over cosine x times the natural log of 5, times the derivative of the argument, which would be the derivative of u, which is going to be negative sine x. And so we could rewrite that as negative sine x over cosine x, natural log of 5. That would be one answer. Or you could write this as negative 1 over the natural log of 5 times the tangent, times the tangent of x. So we've added some more derivative formulas to our list. Um, these are not extremely difficult formulas to use if you memorize the formulas. So do yourself that favor um, of at least minimally 
memorizing the formulas and then practice. There's plenty of problems to practice, um, practice these derivative rules.